my thing. My thing. Where's my thing? I'm guessing you don't have things to make comment about from Not your face. Off. But no. I'll figure something we'll out. We'll wing sure. it. We will wing it. That's we the best thing to do. <laughs> yep. That's uh, that's the professional way of oh, doing yes. this. And um, as always, this is the professional way of starting an unrefundable podcast. So I was just, just trying about just, how we're going to wing it. Yeah, just uh, you're also going to talk past your microphone a lot this time. Of course, I am. Yeah, like it's not, this. It's not. It's not a podcast if uh, Jay doesn't <laughs> talk past his microphone. <laughs> because that's how the professionals do it. This is how we do it in the pros. <laughs> I need to teach the people at work that rule because they're all better at pool than me. And I need to <laughs> level the playing field. This is how we do it in the pros. Uh, right. So yeah. Anyway, we should probably officially start this podcast. Ooh, yeah, go on. Um, welcome everyone, my name is Nif, that is Jay, and uh, this Hi. is once again the non-refundable podcast. Um, back again after a one week hiatus because life got in the way. God damn you life. I mean his life, I, my life is boring and emptyless. Uh, emptyless? That means it's full of, no it's boring and empty. Yes. If it's emptyless I have things, I have yeah. no things. You have no no things. I have no no, yes. No? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, best just cover ourselves at the beginning, uh, obviously disclaimer as always, so uh, here at 177 Entertainment, uh, our legal team forces me to say that uh, we here make no promises that what you're about to listen to will contribute to your life in any way, uh, there's a high chance that what you're about to listen to it will be totally inaccurate and views expressed within are solely the parties involved and do not represent 177 Entertainment's views on politics, celebrities, news, facts, opinions on the world in general. We'd also like to remind you this is a satirical podcast, or at least aims to be, with mild sarcasm and the occasional joke. Those of a serious disposition or lack of the understanding when it comes to attempts at comedy may want to turn off now. Also, please listen responsibly. Right, covered. Well done. I'd also like to say a special thank you and hello to Harry, who's probably <laughs> listening. Yes, I won. Florida, who might be listening. No, no, Florida. I did have one of my videos was viewed in the Netherlands Ooh. for a grand total of 50, 15 seconds. Excellent. Stuff. And Brazil for seven. Ooh. Mm. It was a Forza video, so. But, I mean, technically, you're yeah. multinational. I'm worldwide. Yeah, boom. What's the. I can't think of it. I was going to make a stepbrother joke, but I can't think of what the. Uh, Prestige Worldwide. That's I'm on it. a boat. That's, that's <laughs> no, that's, that's Lonely Island. I'm on a boat. Don't they do a thing on a boat? Where they sing about boats and hoes. Boats and hoes. Yeah, boats I'm I'm hose. on a boat is Lonely Island. There we go. Step Get Brothers my, is boats and hoes. My boat, my comedy boat songs yeah. mixed up. It's uh, from How Prestige Prestige Worldwide. I think I might have figured out why you're quiet. I think your microphone's backwards. Is it? Hang on. I think so. Is, yeah, you got the right in towards me. That means it's backwards. That would be any horrible sounds. Oh, that was a very nasty sound. Sorry, Come guys. On. Much better. You're very loud now. <laughs> that makes so much sense. See, I'm quite tired, so I didn't pay very much attention and to my mic at all, really. This is a very professional setup that we have here. Yeah, I have, we, we, we have find to put out. our stuff together every day. It's not a, it's not a studio as you guys might imagine, <laughs> I, like okay. a pro studio. No, this is a living room. This is recorded on a mic on a on a laptop that I turn up with. The, once yeah, a week. we li- we have to build the studio every week, and by build the studio, I mean I turn up to Jay's front room. Yeah, with I a close laptop. the curtains. Um. And then That's we make really noise. Is. We make noise for an hour, and then I go home happy. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Look. That's right, girls. You had an hour. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't have much to talk about from my face off today, other than we the original plan um, two weeks ago. Obviously, yep. we'll, say, we'll say apologies for not having an episode last week, Harry, because you're the only one who's listened. Yeah. Sorry. Um, Harry. But yeah, Jay had things to do, and I was, I was away at training. Super busy. So uh, obviously, I've had. I now am in my new job. Which I was. Congrats. Yes, it's in- interesting. Um, <laughs> it's a job. It's a job. It's a, a better paid job. Yay. Gotta love better paid jobs. Um, so, yeah, we basically took a, a week off in effect because um, you had writing stuff yes, to do. Yes, tons of writing to do yes. and other things. Um, you'll be a- Actually, you'll be happy because one of the things that occupied my evenings last week... Was it Always Sunny related? ...was watching five episodes of Always Sunny. Have you watched all of season 12 yet? Not yet. Uh, I'm halfway through. I'm watching the next half next week. So, so you've watched the, the game? I haven't watched it all yeah. is because me, uh, Bass, Luke, Stu, Hannah, and... Uh, a mate of ours called Matt all agreed mm-hmm. that we watch it together. Mm-hmm. Obviously, getting that many people in one room at the it's same a pain time in the ass. is yeah. tricky. Yep. So that's why it's been split. We're watching the rest of it next Wednesday. I also hear next Wednesday. I'm all up to date. Speaking of tricky, I also do hear it's hard to write a rhyme on time. That is tricky. It is tricky. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I've watched the first five comedy, comedy gold. Yeah, it's a situation um, comedy, and they are very funny. 
Yes, they are. <laughs> That's uh, my official review. What have you got? Uh, so you got the gang turns black. It's yeah. Fantastic episode. Hilarious. Yeah. Uh, the second water one park, is the water park. That's so which, good. Um, AIDS got AIDS. Yeah, the bit at the very end uh, yeah. with AIDS Frank blood. going down the last slide yeah. nearly killed Bass. He as he started sliding, he hot, lost hot, it, hot, hot, hot. and he was just. He was gone for gone. the rest. Of- I don't think he saw the remainder of the episode, to be honest. He was just there's crying. Not, there's not that much left other than Matt no. goes and sits on an air vent. Yeah, with a really creepy look on his face. Yeah. Uh, so you've got the gang turns black, you've got the water park, then yep. you've got PTSD, is that one? Uh, no, no, that's not later in, on. No, I think that's the next, that's episode six. So you'd have uh, We've had... got uh, situational comedy. Oh, yeah. Um, old Lady House. Old Lady's House, a situational comedy. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah which that's is a very great. good one. Yep. Um, uh, what else do we have? Uh, Situational comedy. I've got. I've actually have the list on my phone. Yeah. Because of my quizzing of you. Water park. Oh, his house. Uh, da, 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 um, oh yeah, Wolf Cola. A the public, Wolf Cola. Yes. Public yep. relations nightmare, which is very good. And uh, making Dennis Reynolds a murderer. Yes. With yep. Ma- Maureen Ponderosa's death. Yeah. Uh, and uh, hero or hate crime, which is one of my favourite episodes. Yeah. Where uh, Mac comes out as gay. Indeed. Yeah. Okay. With Wait, life. no. Haven't seen that one yet. Haven't you seen, so you're up no, to no. hero or hate so crime. That's, that's the, that must be the next one. Uh, Mike, Mac has an exercise bike. Of course, it, he does. it is fantastic. <laughs> it is fantastic. Oh, I think I've seen that. Yes, yeah. I, I'm aware of what that is. Yeah. Yep. yep. The <clears throat> Ars Blaster 3000, as yes. he calls it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's fantastic. Um, uh, where are my notes? So yeah. Here we go. Uh, I don't know why I'm looking at my but notes. Anyway, I don't have any notes. So that's why I was with that and writing. But, yes. Uh, but as you people may remember, we I had just watched uh, Guardians of the Galaxy because we pre-recorded it on a Monday. Off- yes, I often, so. yeah, like one o'clock in the afternoon before yeah. I left, didn't we? Um, That's it, yeah. So I watched it the night before, and then you were going to go and watch it. Did you go I and watch it? I did go and watch it. I have watched it. I have seen it. I have experienced it. All okay, of so we'll get this out of the way now. That we will talk about plot and spoilers and things. Yeah. So, so if Harry you haven't seen it. Harry. Uh, Harry, what are you doing Harry, try harder Um, either A, don't care or B, shut up now and go and watch it probably just don't listen to the rest of the podcast because it's probably going to be heavily referenced although if you could put it on mute and just leave it running it really helps my my playtime but yeah, we will be talking about plot and things that I can remember because it was over two weeks ago now that I've seen it two and a half weeks since I've seen it um, I did grab some figures in regards to Money Made versus other ones. Oh, yeah. So this was as of IMDb about 25 minutes ago. Right. This is based on uh, US Domestic. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the film was on an estimated 200 million budget. Yep. Uh, what would you like to think its opening weekend was uh, in US Domestic? US Domestic US opening domestic. weekend. Yes. I think it smashed it, to be honest, because mm-hmm. of all the hype. Yep. So uh, hashtag hype yo hashtag hype yo, uh, four fifty. That's not that much. <laughs> well, I assume you mean million. Yeah, yeah. Not not four pound fifty. No, I, mean, well, I wasn't. I wasn't sure if you meant four hundred fifty thousand. In which case, that's really low. No, it one hundred forty six million five five hundred ten thousand. Which for for the opening weekend is pretty good, and yeah, it's yeah. already made its money back. at estimated two four eight million. Uh, that's only domestic as well. It's not worldwide. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. Um. It was. It's been the highest grossing one here for the last two weekends since it's been out. It's only just been beaten by Alien, um, whatever it is. Covenant. That one. Alien. Who cares? Yeah. yeah Alien. Coconut. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that was on compared to Guardians. The the first Guardians mm-hmm. that had an estimated budget of 170 million. Uh, opening weekend of that one was 94 million. Mm. So it's. So it did better. Yeah. It's Not like, a lot more budget. No, really. No, for well, in the grand scheme of things, yeah, <laughs> not a lot more budget. Thirty million more. Yeah, it's only thirty million more budget, but yeah, um, obviously that has grossed much higher because mm. it was that's the worldwide total grossing and yeah. it was out for a long time. So yeah, <clears throat> uh, and then just compare it to probably one of our favourite films was uh, Deadpool. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. That had an opening weekend of one hundred thirty-five million. Mm-hmm. Um, that was made on a budget of fifty-eight million. Yeah, I was going to say that was. That was just yeah. free money. Basically. Yeah, it was. It made nearly three times its cost in the opening weekend. Yeah. Uh, and and that's why they all went. We can make R-rated movies. Oh, oh. Um, and How then the, just to compare it to some of the DC films, uh, mm. Batman v Superman, 
Uh, that was on a budget of 250 million, apparently estimated. Quite big. Uh, opening weekend was 166. So it did beat Guardians, but it yeah. cost a hell of a lot more to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then probably the one that you could probably liken most to it uh, would be Suicide Squad. Yep. The awful train wreck that was Suicide Squad. Yep. I fucking hate that film. Yep, bad film. Uh, bad film. 175 million. So less, about the same budget as the first one. Made yep. 133 million opening weekend. Yeah, US domestic again. That's that's actually still quite good. It, no, like, but um, Suicide Squad had a massive was successful. It was it was in a successful a film, sense. which does unfortunately mean we're getting get Suicide Squad two yes. because it was a shit film. Although yeah. it did, ironically, like it had potential. If they'd written it right, it would have been very good. But had, they they did, yeah, it's, well, I mean, all they had to do was write it so I actually cared about anything that was going on. Yeah, but that's what they failed miserably at. Yeah, it's. I, th- and it I can't remember. Didn't really make sense. I can't remember if it was you or it was someone else, but it's like the film basically you can remove all the entire film from what happened from like the continu- continuity of the world. Yeah, and it has absolutely no bearing on anything. Like yeah. the, the the thing at the beginning was fixed by the end, so basically you could remove yeah. it all and it didn't happen. It didn't Nothing have matters. any effect. Um, the only the only interesting character was. Uh, well, the only one that had a potentially interesting story... Oh, Diablo. Was, no, it was Deadshot, with the whole uh, kid thing. Oh, yeah, but like, I mean, the film was Deadshot on Friends. Well, yeah, it was, yes. It's because, because Will was Smith was... Character. Yeah, it's good. Well, like, it's Captain Will Smith Boomerang was, was terrible. Uh, Who? Sli- <laughs> yeah. Uh, slip I will not, not hear you say bad about Varro. If only... <laughs> yeah. he's, he has fallen. He has. So hard. Well, well Die Hard. Yeah, he is fallen yeah. Die Hard. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Die Hard and then... Um, so he was in Divergent? Yeah. Or Div- Insurgent? He's or one of the Divergent trilogy. One of the Urgents. He's in the Urgent trilogy. Yeah. Um, and then Suicide Squad. It's like, they've all been toss. They have. But Varro, he's but, brilliant. Yeah. Loved him as Varro. But, I mean, I, his acting's been okay... Yes, his, it's fine. His, the writing, unfortunately, and his picking of projects has been uh, shit. Yeah, Suicide Squad. I'm sorry for all those people out there that probably loved it because Jared Leto was in it as the Joker. For pointlessly, all, all, all of thirty um, seconds, and Harley Quinn. Oh, the Joker hot. Harley Quinn uh, dynamic in that film is totally fucked up. Oh, just, just like I'm not a massive wrong. Batman fan. I'm not a massive comic book fan, if I'm honest. I. I know of it by way of <clears throat> I'm more than an inductee. Yeah. Less than I have four thousand comic books in my house. Toe in the waters. You've I'm got aware a foot of. In, yeah, but I'm that's a, probably as far as you. I'm go. aware of some niche characters. Yeah. Like if you say a name of not a mainstream character, I'm going to know it. Yeah. But I also had to look up Adam Warlock because I haven't encountered him. Sure. So sure. I knew of him. I know yeah. of the Celestials and him and her, and, and I know of yeah. them, but I didn't know that was Adam Warlock. I. I kind of gleaned it was like yeah. when they said Adam. Like, I'm pretty sure that's related to. To be fair, as soon as they said that, my head riffled through all the characters in Marvel. And yeah, I was like, well, my what first Adams are there. My first one was Black Adam. I was like, no, that's DC. Yeah, <laughs> uh, a man who's defeated by going Shazam. Uh, and I said, it's Shazam. Who's B? He turned back into a normal boy by saying yeah. his own name. Yes, yeah. which is awkward. Yeah, um, but Black right, Adam. Dave. Oh, oh, you're 12 again. Oh, God damn it. Damn it. Um, but yeah, it's. I'm I'm kind of aware of it yeah. of the the peripheries of those characters, um, but yeah, I'm not a comic book fan in any way. Um, but even I know that how uh, Joker and Harley Quinn interact in that film is completely wrong. It's like I mean, for a start, Joker cared about her. There's a lot that's completely wrong in that film. Yeah, that's well, um, I mean, the whole dynamic of Joker is Harley Quinn has undying love for him, and, and he, he does really not care he's about a sociopath. her. Sociopath. Yeah. Anyway, I tell you what, let's <laughs> le- we ranted about Suicide Squad previously. It's, it's a hot blooded so, topic for me. I do have one other figure as well. Was uh, yeah. Doctor Strangy, Doctor Strangy, or Strange. also known as Fu Toi Ting Chong. Oh. Apparently, it's a, one of the screenshots I got from. Oh, I, I'm prob- going to guess that's in China. Um, that had a budget of 165 million. Uh, only grossed 85 million in the opening week. Yeah, so, see, I think the problem with Doctor Strange, yeah, it's Doctor Strangy, is that he's not actually interesting. 
that's harsh. No, I was going to say he's not. No, a big, not not Benedict Cumberbottom. He's not a big hitter when it comes to characters. Oh no, he's not. Was he do? He, well, I mean, like, Do- Doctor Strange if you're was a designed comic as a fan. He's cool. Yeah, but if you if you're a Marvel fan because of the films, you yeah. won't know who he is. No, um, so it's his not going to have done well. His Plus powers, his accent was terrible. Yeah, his his yeah. Why would you just make him British? Like yeah, he's he's not? It's Broderick Cucumber Patch. How yeah. can you can't, you can't do an American accent. accent? He also can't say penguins. No, he can't. Penglings. But he says it ping, very cutely. Yeah, so. ping, penglings. He changed. He says it four different ways in one documentary. It's adorable. <laughs> it is fantastic. Let's, we let him off. Uh, if you haven't seen it. Google uh, or go onto YouTube and find Benedict Cumberbatch saying penguins. Yeah, it's you fantastic. do have to use his fake name, Benedict yeah. Cumberbatch. Yeah, not Broderick Cucumberpatch, yeah. as I like calling him. Um, but yeah, the his powers from, compared to the comic book, like how they done in the comic book, they don't lend themselves very well to being on a motion film. No, I mean they did it very well. Yeah, like it but, was visually stunning. I yeah, thought. it was um, it was just a CG fest. Yeah. It was just like look at all. It was basically just like Marvel's Inception. Yes, Marvception. 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 Uh, also, In- Doctor Strange was kind of created as a get out of jail free card from a writer's standpoint. <laughs> of going like, shit. <laughs> oh. We done fucked this storyline. We uh, painted ourselves very and much. And then into a Doctor here. Strange came back and turned back time, and all was fine. Everything was fine by the next issue. Bye, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> right, is, so anyway, back onto Guardians, the original yeah, topic of this started. very long meander down the we garden path. We tangent so much. Oh, we tangent so hard. It takes two to, 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 to tangent. Uh, how did you find the film? Uh, I went to the cinema and asked for a ticket, and they were like, "It's in that screen." Okay, went in that screen, and it was on. Okay, uh, yeah. Yes. But I actually, sorry, I get more pedantic the more tired Ped- I get. Ped- pedantic. Pedantic. I can't speak properly either. Um, I I enjoyed it. Yeah, that's what I, I enjoyed There's as well. a caveat there, yeah. obviously. Yeah. You can well, tell by the tone. Yeah, well, I mean, it is, it is, it is a cut and shot Marvel film. Yeah. It's just a cut and shot. That's all it is. Like, it doesn't do anything different. It doesn't do anything really different from Guardians 2. Uh, Guardians 1, rather. My, my feeling mm-hmm. was that they tried too hard to be Guardians 1. So a lot of the fun of Guardians 1 was... The comedy aspect, like, like hey, oh, this was a yeah, they're totes funny though. Yeah, um, this was the Drax comedy hour. Yeah, like it was the everyone comedy hour. Like everyone had a billion one-liners, and they were oh, like, yeah. we're just going to cram these in everywhere, regardless of situations. Like something really terrible is happening. Yeah. Do you want to have your funny little online or but should I have levity? Mine? It's like, oh no! So, oh, this is occasionally really... it's okay if we're just sad. This is okay. a this is a really heavy situation. Quick baby group being stupid. Yeah, exactly. Like occasionally you do want that. Like there's yeah. some heavy situations where you need to just burst it at the end with a little bit of comedy yeah. and everyone feels better. But occasionally, particularly in an action film, which is at the end of the day, this is what this is. Mm-hmm. You need to feel like there's actual peril. Yeah. And if everyone's about to die, but then makes a joke, you suddenly think, well, they're not about to die. Like, they're not scared, so why should I be worried about them? Sorry, my brain went on a complete tangent when you said the word peril. It's intrinsically linked to me to Monty Python and the Holy Grail with Sir Galahad at the Castle of Peril. Yeah, of Can I have a little bit of peril? No. no. Uh, uh, so, anyway, anyway back, on, yeah, back, back on the Back on track. Yeah. Back in the room. Uh, so, yeah. My biggest concern, like I actually genuinely really enjoyed it. Yeah, so I did right. not yeah, regret good. going to see it. I did not re- regret my ticket my friend, money. Friend. Nothing like that at all. Um, I'm sure if anyone ever listened to this, they would email me saying, "Oh my god, you're, you're a wrong person." Yeah, this how is the best you just film? Like Guardians Two. This is best the best film ever made. It's better than a whole load of stuff out there, but it's not as good as the first one. It's 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 not a it's not a good film by way of like Shawshank is a good film. Yeah, exactly. Titanic is a good film. Not a life changer, no. but I really thoroughly enjoyed it's a, it. It's a hour and thirty six minutes of enjoyability. Yes, um, and best soundtrack ever. Best David soundtrack ever. Yeah. Oh yes, the half spoilers. Yeah, this whole thing spoilers, but yeah. Yeah. Um, so I mean, what more could you want? There, yeah. there was some really genuinely great bits. The soundtrack is. Awesome. Soundtrack's very, very good. It's yeah. uh I watched um Fun House did a, a do a movie podcast mm. and they talked about Guardians on it. And it is basically a, effectively what D C tried to do with uh Suicide Squad. It's yes. fi- it's five random people yep. who you like obviously we've had one build up film mm-hmm. but it's five random people who you really don't know about. Yep. Like you have to be a proper comic They're book like, nerd to know Probably Guardians. C-listers? Yeah, yeah. 
Maybe well, worse. But they're not. The jokes are better timed. Yep. Although they are, I mean, they are. There are too many of them. They're thrown but, in, yeah. Yeah, but the ones that land are very good. And yeah. Timed. Like, even the ones that. So if you throw enough shit at the wall, eventually it's going to stick. Even the ones that are unnecessary are good jokes. They're yeah, good they are. jokes. They're well timed. They're well placed. Yeah. But there's just too many, too many of them. them. Yeah. But they're all good. The They timed the. You can tell the film was built around the music that they were playing. It's like, right, yeah. we're going to have this song playing and we're going to time it to this and this yeah. guy's going to hit to. Whereas uh, Suicide Club was very much like. Ah, this is a bit shit. No, we'll put Queen. There, yeah, there everyone go. loves Queen. Yeah. Can't go wrong with Queen. Um, and yeah, you just uh, you actually care about these characters. Like, yeah. as I say the Drax. I didn't care about Drax in the last one. This mm. one, I fucking love Drax. Yeah, it, it's hilarious. Drax stole this one oh, yeah. utterly. Oh, like, Drax was fantastic. Um, Baby Groot was cool. Best um, bit about Baby Groot was when he had the bomb. Didn't yeah. really care about him for the rest yeah. of the film. And uh, the awesome opening sequence. Yeah, as well. the opening sequence was fantastic. It may have gone. But Drax was still the best in the opening. Bit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the opening sequence was too long. It was too long, but entertaining. And it's one of my favourite songs. So. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I, yeah. Mr. Blue Sky. That's it. Yellow. Yellow. Yeah. yeah. Electric Light Orchestra. Um, my dad, actually, when I, when I was very young and when I started getting into music, my dad had vinyl because mm-hmm. he's an old man. Um, I mean, you're an old man. Yes, which makes him an even older man. Yeah. Um, and we used to live in a bungalow, but the loft was had a floor basically. Converted, so up in the loft. kind of. Semi convert. Yeah. He'd put a floor down. That it, was it. It was, was walk- no it was walkable. You wouldn't exactly. fall in the living room if you'd yeah. exactly. Um, and he had his record player up there with his vinyl. And yeah. I used to climb up ladder and go up there and listen to either. I had a, a little selection of albums. So he had uh, Meat Loaf's Bat Out of Hell. Oh. Brilliant good album. album. Good album. Um, he had an ELO collection. I have a good authority that uh, Meat Life will do anything for love. Uh, yeah, but he won't do that. No. Although that's not specified. No. What that is. But that is implied. I feel that's a get out clause. There he is, yeah. I will do anything love, love, but I won't, won't do, do that. that. What's that? Depends how I feel on the time. <laughs> yeah. We answer the door. No, yeah. that's today, that's that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we had those two. ELO, obviously, Mr. Blue yep. Sky, brilliant. Um, I had a Wombles album. Wombles of Wimbledon. They wumble free. Yeah. Underground um, or overground? Y- yes. All of the above. And I had a... Uh, actually, I had two Wombles albums. Ooh. And I had an album... Didn't realise I did two albums. <laughs> I yeah, didn't man, did more... Seriously. I didn't realise I did more than one song. <laughs> there were two albums. It was amazing. Um, uh, and then I also had a... The 80s were dark times, weren't they? They were very dark times. I think he was called... What was it like? Marilyn Manson. He was an animated DJ rabbit... And he did a Christmas song that was very popular at the time. We're talking like in the mid '80s. Can't remember what he was called, but I can't help you with that. Oh, mate, I was again, born. he had an album. Yeah, uh, mostly <laughs> predicated on the fact that he had a Christmas number one, but he also had an album that was. Yeah, was like, oh, we'll, we'll generate this number one song for Christmas, and I'll oh, shit. We're, we're quick, we're make, make, write make, make an album songs. quick, get some I've money got out of this guy. Feeling the other songs were all covers, actually. Probably. Yeah, I don't think there was anything original there. No, and the the Christmas song was almost certainly. A rip off of another Christmas song, probably Madness or something. Yeah, like, like or uh, it's Christmas. Uh, yeah, yeah, something like. That. Anyway, so so ELO is very close. Slade, to that's what I meant. Slade. Slade. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yes, that was a great opening to the film. Yeah. Drax jumping into the stomach was fucking hilarious. Yes, that was. No, like, yeah, if his skin's thick on the outside, it's this still thing. gonna be thick on the yeah. inside, and cuts to him just. Mercilessly stabbing, it. Yeah. Ah, just getting brilliant. covered in ooze. That's fantastic, Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, no, I, there were a lot of bits of the film that I really enjoyed, and it still mm. ranks very highly in my Marvel films. Plus Jeff Bridges, yes, doesn't love a bit of Jeff Bridges. Yeah, um, but yeah, no, I, I enjoyed it again. Kurt it Russell, was, yep, uh, the dude who played Mal, Mal, Merle, Merle, and from uh, Merle, uh, from How the Duck. Uh, oh yeah, How the Duck. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I've, I have. Apparently, there's rumblings that How the Duck is going to be the cameo after uh, Stanley up jobs and uh, oh. joins the choir Invisible. Oh, do you think? Mm, apparently, yeah. I've heard rumblings. Not confirmed from anywhere, but I've heard rumors. I've heard rumblings about a, a Lobo movie, mm. which I would really enjoy. Actually, I that'd like be Lobo. quite good. I, I again, I don't. I know of Lobo. I don't know much about him, but I do know the one where Lobo steals Christmas. Lobo's insane. Yes. He's basically a space biker and he kills his entire planet. Yeah. He also kills Father Christmas and becomes yeah. Father Christmas. And there was a really weird um, Lobo Howard the Duck crossover. As in literally, yeah. their genetics got spliced and there was a Lobo, Lobo the, Duck. the Duck. Yeah. yeah. 
which is basically just Lobo with a beak, essentially. <laughs> but it, it was great. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, Guardians two, enjoyable. Totally enjoyable. Well, well definitely, worth definitely, watch. definitely watching the cinema. If you watch it at home, on the, it's not going to yeah, be as enjoyable. Yeah, it's not going to be the same. No, no. watch the, it in the cinema. I tell you and what, stay the, for the five the credit sequence. The five post credit sequence, like the actual credits, yeah. the names. That's one of the best credit sequences I've ever seen. Yes. That was excellent. And it yes, there cool. are five posts. <sighs> just yeah. really it's hammering like, it. I got I got to three. I'm like, well, I just got to be Oh, no, shit. No, hang on. Uh, no, another no, one? Another, just, like, right, okay. Oh, right. Okay, Adam. Cool. Got it. Oh, no, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, no. Groot's a teenager. Okay, Groot's growing uh, up. Funny yeah. that. <laughs> that. That would happen, yeah. you'd expect. Yeah. 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 Uh, what I did find interesting from it mm. is it... it didn't get them any closer to Earth, <laughs> and they only have no. they only have two years to get here because um, Infinity yes. War is for well Infinity War Part One. But they've got a spaceship. Is, yeah, I know. Spaceships but, travel as fast as they need to, depending yeah. on the plot. It's not a wizard. It doesn't arrive precisely when it means to. Yes, it does. <laughs> Spaceships are basically space wizards. Space wizards. Yeah. Um, well, they're space giant eagles, actually. I suppose technically. Yeah. Yeah. Or space fish, if it's if you count the space as sea. Why Giant whales. Make any sense? Well, well I don't know. <laughs> space because like the eagles in Lord of the Rings, they always turn up right fly off, it's just when you need them. Yeah, fly you fools. Um, <sighs> the everything. yeah, I was just I thought I was expecting something to lead it to mm. Earth, as well, in they they need start... to get the purple stone. Like, I mean, I know the purple stones at the thingy place with the I've forgotten the name of it. Yeah, the 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 police from the end of the first one. They have the yeah, purple yeah. stone. And the collector has the. Can't what it's called. What stones the collector got? Has he got the tesseract? No. Yes. Yeah, he has because they're kind of two in Asgard. Because they've got the okay. red, they've got the red one in Asgard, and then they gave the blue one to the collector. Sure, that sounds about right. I think I watched a thing on it from IGN the, the other yeah. day, and the green, the green one's in Nepal, uh, in Kamataj. Yes. One yeah. of the best names ever. I love yeah. saying Kamataj. <laughs> it just makes uh, sense. It does. Um, then you got what other ones? You got you got one in Vision's yeah, forehead. One. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's in Vision's forehead. Yeah. That's probably safe. Yeah, and I uh, forget what the one we're waiting to turn up is. So you got the yellow, you got the reds. So reds in Asgard, yellows in Vision, blues at the collector, purples with the collective. I think it's called. Is it the collective? Is it the collective? Is it? No. I think it's the collective or the enclave. Can't oh, no. remember. Cannot yeah. remember. It's with them. It's with the people from the end of the first Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Uh, green ones in cabotage. There's yeah. one more. I can't remember what color it is. I want to say yellow, but it's too close to orange. We've already no yellow. Is it, is, maybe it's orange. I think or, vision, yellow is the one in Vision's head. Yeah, so it must be orange then. Yeah, let's go orange. Yeah, and that's and then that's the whole Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah. Um, I did like the Stan Lee cameo where he's there with the watches. Yes. Yeah. That was quite funny. That was quite cool. Yeah. Um, and they are bringing uh, Green Lady's uh, sister, uh, cyborg bitch. Yeah, um, she seems to be making more of a part in it now. Yeah, which seems to be quite cool. Uh, and they uh, did also set up the original Guardians hmm? with Stallone. Didn't so the Guardians? Oh of the Galaxy, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the Guardians of the Galaxy. There's actually been two of them, two right. groups. So the new one with Star Lord. Yep. Um, and then there was an older one in in I can't remember when they were done, like the seventies, maybe I don't know. But older comics says there was a previous oh, Guardians was of the Galaxy, um, and basically which that's became what, the Yondu's. That's what Stallone. W- was is yeah. was slash is um, so there's a one of the end credit the sequence spoilers Renegades is it is him chatting to no the Reavers Reavers that's it is him chatting to like four other random characters yes um, yeah, yeah you've not really like they turned up very randomly um, they are the original Guardians and that, apparently that post credit sequence now makes sense there we go yeah. apparently Marvel are intending to do um, uh, so you've got the Marvel what do they call it at the moment? It's cinematic Marvel Universe. MCU, isn't it? Marvel yes. Comics yeah. Universe? They've got the Cinematic Universe and the Comics Universe. Cinematic Universe. Uni- yeah, yeah. They're intending to do a Marvel's, I think, Extended Universe okay. or something like that, which is all the stuff way out in deep space full of the crazy There's shit. not basically nothing that's linked so to nothing, the Infinity so War. So basically there'll be an Earth section. The Infinity War section. Yeah. And then there'll be the crazy out there section, which yeah, will be yeah. all the other stuff. So like yeah, right, fair enough. Galactus will be involved in that, theoretically, except yeah. he won't, but... Should be. Yeah, until that's when you find strange licensing laws. Come yeah, out. this is the problem. Like, the extended, the outer world should have Fantastic Four in it, but doesn't but, because yeah. of licensing. Because but, that's but, with 
Sony, but it's Sony or is yeah, it Fox? Fox? Fox, I think. Fox. Fox. Have it. Whoever it is, they keep making a fucking hash yeah, of it. Yeah, Fox, who basically, in order to they retain rebooted the rights, they, they have to make a film within yeah. a certain amount Just of time. Nine years. So when I that's think, getting close to the end, they're like, quick, a reboot, and yeah. it's terrible. Yes, yeah, so I think it's a nine-year window they Something get. Something like that, yeah. You've got to use the license every nine years, yeah. otherwise it defaults back to the original Please, owner. Please, just forget. Let it default back or make a good film. Like, if you want the I license, think... make a good film and deserve it. I don't know if it, I don't know if it is Fox, because Fox had... I think it is Fox. Is it, uni- uh, is it Universal that had Spider-Man? I forget who had Spider-Man. Sony. Sony. Sony, Sony had Spider-Man. Spider-Man. And now they've basically said to Disney that they can use it for Homecoming. Yeah, I think because yeah, so. as far as I'm aware, I don't think they've given the license back. I'll be honest. There's yeah. a lot of uh, it's all very boring legality stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of that that I don't understand slash ignore. Yeah. Um, there was some, oh yeah, I loved uh, Yondu in this one. Yeah, he or was Yondu amazing, or whatever right? his name is. Actually, yeah. So Drax yep. and Yondu stole this film. Yes, I was very sad. Drax when Yondu for the died. comedy, Yondu for the, for the feels. feels. Yeah, and Brilliant. the everyone is giving like. So much weight to the, the like that line he said like I might not have been your dad but I was your daddy. Yes, it's just the loads of people are just like oh it's so good. Yeah, yeah, it it's it is it's yeah. very good. Like spoilers if if you've gone this far and you don't know the spoilers. I did just say he died anyway just a minute one. ago. Oh, yeah. So yeah. like that scene where um, all of the feels. Yeah, where they're like, I've got one spacesuit and, and one, one jetpack. Jetpack. You have the spacesuit. I'll have the jetpack. Yeah, that the was brilliant. That was that good. was like yeah, fair play. Um, he was the, he was one of the coolest characters. Yeah, he definitely Yondu. was, and I loved his new mohawk. Yes, brilliant. His big... and, and actually, one of the best scenes, despite the fact that I say Drax and Yondu were the best, the the his uh, first mate. Groot heist. Oh, right. oh yes, scene was brilliant. Yeah, when he comes back. No, obviously Yondu is quite important in that scene, but yeah. it was mostly Groot and Rocket, to be fair, and that was fantastic. Just, I really enjoyed that. The bits where they're explaining to Baby Groot is just fantastic. Yeah. All of those bits. In desk, I said it was this, this big. <laughs> it, yeah. <coughs> I back, could have watched that for an hour. Brings, ba- brings back underwear and... Yeah, yeah and a foot. <laughs> Please tell yeah. me you have a fridge full of seven human feet <laughs> toed somewhere. Is that, nope. <laughs> <laughs> What's amazing, and this is something that Bass pointed out when we were chuckling over this scene, someone slept through having their toe <laughs> ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite impressive. Yeah. And when he's um, trying to explain to him about uh, the bomb. Oh, I, the hat bit. It's like, I am Groot. He wants you to wear it as a hat. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? you don't wear hats because you think they meet people's heads look shapes that they aren't? <laughs> That's why you don't like hats? <laughs> That's such a good little scene. Yeah, it's, that was... I, I love brilliant. the bit where he's trying to explain the, the bomb the thing. The bomb, yeah. Yeah, he's like, I am Groot. Mm-hmm. I'm Groot. Mm-hmm. I'm Groot. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the one thing you don't press. And try it again. Yeah. And then he just sort of gets distracted and he just walks like this. Yeah, we're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was yeah, good. That bit was I, I did very much enjoy it. It was yes. a very, very good film. Yeah. Uh, what are we at runtime? Half hour. Okay. okay uh, I, I bought Lego. That's but, I know I've Lego is on my list. I want Lego when yes. I when I get my own place. I'll have a wall full of Lego. So uh, Ghost Rider and so yeah, I, they've got the Ghost Rider set, which is basically Ghost Rider, Hobgoblin, Spider Man, and a motorbike. Ghost Rider's motorbike. Mm-hmm. Um, it was insane. Just for twenty quid. Yeah, and I kept looking at it, going, I really, really badly want a Lego Ghost Rider, just the minifigure. Yeah, um, the rest of the stuff's cool, but I really want that. But twenty quid. I'm a grown ass man. Twenty quid's a bit much to spend on Lego. Yeah. And then it went down to thirteen quid when I went in there and I was like, "No, that I can justify. Yeah. That's well, absolutely fine. That's almost half price. That's <laughs> yeah, fine." Exactly. Um, came home and built it immediately. Rather amusingly, there's a little garbage can, mm-hmm. and Spider Man's head was stuck in the garbage can when <laughs> I got out of the box. And for a while, Spider Man was headless because I couldn't get the damn thing out, <laughs> which gave the whole thing a very macabre sense of. Very disturbing. It's fantastic. It's what it is. Yes. But yep. Lego Ghost Rider, one thing that really impressed me is his chain that comes with it mm-hmm. is actually individual links, so it moves. Oh, nice. I expect it to be one form like, piece of yeah. stable class. No, it's, nope. it's links. It moves properly. It's well worth £13. <laughs> yes. I've now ordered a load of random bits of Lego so I can build a Lego display case for my Lego minifigures. That sounds awesome. Is it, is it a fish tank you're sticking Lego to the outside of? No, I've no. bought Lego and I'm going to build each one of them a little box. Oh, they're right, going to okay. be modular, 
so mm-hmm. I can click them click, together click, and click. take them apart and move them around. Yeah. That's hasn't. I'm going to have to get Lego and then a very big fish tank. Yes. And make a diorama or something. Yes. From I don't blame you. The only, the only, the one thing I've always wanted is a Lego Death Star, but I cannot justify 175 oh, pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Or the Lego uh, Super Star Destroyer. Yes. That yeah. is 100 and something pounds as well. Yeah, but they're pretty, aren't they? They're so good. <laughs> and you can get the Helicarrier as well. I know. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's a beast of a thing. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, I forget how many pieces. It's thousands. The original Millennium Falcon is like mm. 600 quid. Yeah, the, that's, but that's legacy prices, isn't it? That's yeah, like, yeah. they've brought out a new Millennium, Millennium Falcon, Falcon for like 130, 140. Probably a bit more than that 170 now. 170 maybe. Yeah. Might be the 170 mark. Because the... I've got the uh, Imperial uh, shuttle. You know the the th- oh, yeah, folding yeah. wing yeah. jobby. That yeah. was Does the wing that... fold on it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, and it's got little feet that drop out of it as well. Oh, excellent. That's really That's cool. cool. Uh, it's currently in its wings up docked yeah. position at home, um, and it comes with Leia, Han, and Chewie, nice. I believe, and Luke. So nice. it all comes as little figures. Oh, worth it. Yeah, uh, I think it was about eight pounds. So I got that from Legoland. I have a friend who will remain nameless because mm-hmm. they want to. Um, who has the original Millennium Falcon. Wow. They've never built it. They've Still in the package. Box. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they were like, I really do want to build it. It's like, okay, if you're going to build it, what you need to do is get a, essentially a fish tank, you need to get a Perspex box yeah. to suspend it in and yeah. then use it as a coffee table. Yep. Because that will be amazing. <laughs> Only thing to beat that is you have two AT-ATs as legs. Oh yes, yeah. That Just have a cool. sheet of perspex with the Millennium Falcon hanging underneath. Yeah, and the AT-ATs as legs. No, no. Side. If you had AT-ATs as legs, you want a snow speeder hanging. Down. That's true. You do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where was all this geek knowledge when we were doing the Star Wars <laughs> quiz? Oh, my if brain... it had been a Star Wars Lego quiz, <laughs> my bossed it. My brain's now seeing things like charger cables used from the wraps around the AT-ATs yeah. legs and going to the A-wing. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Right, okay. This is, that's so a, Lego's cool is what we're saying. That's ex- an expensive thing that I'm planning and I don't have any money yet. So. Yeah. But when you do... But when I do... Oh, the Lego. All of the Legos. Uh, I keep looking at my phone. There's no notes on my phone. Uh, there was something else I was going to talk about, but I can't remember what. Was it exciting? No. Yeah. It was very... Actually, no, I do know. This is a very... It's not a nice subject. We'll put it okay. that way. Um, have you... Do you know anyone from your past who's like gone to prison for something serious? Yes. Okay. Well, you, did you know that guy from the Harvey who went to prison for all that stuff no. out in Thailand? Okay, that's the only one here. So there was a guy, I'm not going to say his name uh, or where he lives because I would still consider him a friend even though what he did was awful. Sure. Um, really nice guy. I did all my training with him at my first job. Yeah. Um, someone linked a news article today. He's just gone to prison for uh, having child imagery. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's awkward, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's like, I remember training with that guy. Yeah. Really good friends with him for like five years. Yeah. I haven't spoken to him since I left that job just because sure. we were f- work friends. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's just really weird. Like, yeah. I, oh, I looked at the news article about four or five times. Just to check that it's Yeah, like, I just like, looked at the picture and like, person. That, that is him. Like, yeah, there's no way, like, yeah. that is him. It's weird. weird. Like, yeah, it, it's just. Yeah, it's very odd when things like that happen. <coughs> very odd. It, it kind of shakes your world a little bit and you, you have to reevaluate a lot of things. Yeah, I mean, it just shows people are hiding stuff yes. that you don't really think but yeah it was just like I just woke up and it was if I've not seen it anywhere else it was just um I'll say a mutual friend someone we both used to work with shared yeah. an article yeah. she also knew him because he she was in the same area when she was younger sure. um and yeah she was showing disgust and stuff but then she has a child so so that makes sense she's got a different perspective to what I have yeah um I'm sure if I had a child I'd probably care more not to, yeah. not not to be blunt, but but yeah, no, like it, it's, it makes it more immediate to you, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you can you've got personal yeah, exactly uh, a yeah. sort of more personal link to it. To me, it's just like that's, that's weird. That's not a good thing. It's not a good bad. thing. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's just I was just like I'm just it's one of those things you're like that's oh, taking me back a bit. Like it's like yeah, it's really weird. It's yeah, just, no, I, I understand. Yeah, there's it, it, just one thing that cropped up. My life's very boring. Nothing much really happens. Oh yeah, I've started going to the gym. Uh, oh, well done. On a more lighter note, I've gone back. Yeah. Started going back to the gym. Which gym? Uh, Same gym. No sports centre now. Well, because, you're a jerk. Uh, well, th- there's no parking at that one. <laughs> walk. Run. I live at the other end of the fucking town. It's like a half hour walk. I don't want to hard so do it. Fifteen minute run. I can't run. It's your cardio. I can't. I might do cardio at the gym. That's what the gym is there for. 
No, the, the gym is there for weights. You do cardio I don't, on the weights. I don't do that many weights. I do cardio. I need to. Uh, I need well, to lose. Fine, need fine. to lose weight and trim. Fine, whatever. I'm still going to the gym. Yeah. Although to be fair, I didn't tonight. I should have tonight before this. Well, I've also well, the reason I do it is I finish work at seven. Yep. I'm my new job. The sports center is pretty much on the way home. Yeah. So you which can, means I can get changed at work. Yeah. Drive around the sports center. It's quiet at that yes. time of night. Yeah, it will be. Yeah. Um, parking is there, and for me, it's a pain in the ass parking in town. Mm-hmm. So I've got to park in the the car parks around there. Say they ticket till eight, so I can't use the closest one. There's never yeah. anywhere on the road. The gym itself is pretty cheap, and the equipment's not very good for the, what I use on it because the road machines are pretty haggard. Mm-hmm. The a lot of the cycling machines don't work, and when they do, they are like the cheapest of the cheap. And the people in the weight sections are just... just a, Wait, we talked about the place I go to. Yes. Yeah. The, the people in the weight sections just aren't very nice people. At least not to me. I, I don't venture into that section. It's just yeah. a sea of testosterone and... I have started going measuring. into that section because the machines just weren't... Doing, doing it, yeah. Anymore. See, I'm still on the um, on the machines because I'm, I'm just trying to... I'm doing more cardio than anything else yeah. to try and slim down. Um, and the main, main thing I do is cycling. And the mm. sports centre has a video game cycling machine. Oh, it does, doesn't yes. it? I recall that from when I used to go to that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's only got two of them now because they weren't overly popular and they are quite yeah. expensive to run. Yeah. Um, so. But yeah, I basically just sit on there and do a shit ton of cycling. Yeah. I did an hour of cycling in the gym Excellent. the other day. Yeah. I would, I would actually prefer to go to that gym, mm-hmm. uh, but I can't afford it. It is more that was the well. My original one was I was going to go to Bannertines, cool. because I'd just love pu- to do that, again but... purely because of location. Yeah. I work just next to folks to no, Bannertines. To be honest, I would go to Bannertines before the gym. It is a yeah. gorgeous gym. Yeah, it's really nice. I've but... got a friend of mine goes there as well. He says yeah, it's really so... good. But the uh, main reason was it's right there. Yeah, my car is right here. Yeah, I can literally get changed in work, park in Bannertines car park. Yeah, so when they lock up the storage units that I'm in, I don't get stuck. Yeah, there. you're okay. Yeah. Um, Go to the gym, then go home. Yeah. But I couldn't justify £55 a month no. and a £20 sign-up fee. Yeah, it's just too much, really. Isn't yeah, it? it's like, yeah, so today that'll be £64, and then you'll be £55 at every first of the month. I'm like, I can't... Have... Oh, I wish. I wish I've, I just, I've just paid off a load of other stuff to try and get my monthly... Yeah. I can't put another £50 yeah, a month exactly. coming out of my yeah. account. Yeah, while well, I'm balancing the books, this doesn't... Fit. Yeah, this yeah. this does knock them over somewhat. Yeah, exactly. Um But yeah, it's the... Um, yeah, I've started going to Sports Centre and I'm going three... The only problem with Sports Centre is, annoyingly, it's not open late on the weekends. and Because no, I work Saturday and Sundays. It closes at six, so I, don't, I can't go to the gym on the weekends because the yeah. earliest I finish is six. Um, and on Sundays, I finish at five and there's no point going to the gym for 30 minutes. No, no. By the time I get out of the where I'm at work, get changed, go to the gym, You'll I'll be there by like quarter past Yeah, at the absolute You'll earliest. You'll warm up and then be told... Yeah, closing. like, cool, 20 minutes on the cycling machines, that's no way near long enough. Yeah. One one run around the weight machines and like right we're closing go home, yeah. and then I've got to go and play ball games because that's my Sunday ritual. Ah, uh, fair. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, that's I've started going to sports center. It's, it's fair, a bit yeah. more expensive, but it does give me the option to do swimming as well, which I quite like the idea of. Yes, I don't because I don't swim well. No, well, it's I enjoy swimming. Uh, I used to swim a lot. Yeah, um, I probably won't go swimming at least for a long time anyway. But it gives me the option there. It's part yeah, of yeah. At least you know you can. Yeah, is the important thing. Yeah. Um, right, I think we've should we should we move on to, to the quiz section now? So this is a quiz I, of the week. Quiz this is of an, the week. That's my rather terrible jingle for quiz of the week. <laughs> Did you like it? So in, in, in he made it up just then. I he couldn't tell. <laughs> uh, in honour of the topic, I ordered these. Thankfully, because of the delay, these were actually able to get here on time. Hey, because these were nope. I had done. I ordered backup quiz cards. We have. We are set for quizzes for the next few weeks. Don't oh, worry. Oh, brilliant! That's, uh, that's good to know. So this is a Marvel-based trivia, so okay. we're going to get a lot of questions wrong, probably. Well, I mean, we did on Star Wars, and we were quite confident that we knew a lot about that. Hey, so. I, I, I won on that one. <laughs> you won, but we got a lot of questions I got wrong be- on the process. I got better. I got better. I'll be better. So, <laughs> you're going to the zoo. I'll be better. <laughs> That's uh, Russell Howard, for anyone who knows. Um, Thanks, Ross. Thanks, Russ. <laughs> Am I magic yet? <laughs> A lot of our friendship is just quite in random stand-up yeah. comedy lines. It's like it's weird. What are you what doing you... later? I don't know. Oh, but I'm going to make you a collage. <laughs> no, I can't remember it now. I just, yeah. So what have you been doing? Oh, I, can't, I can't remember that one now. I used to know it all off by heart. Um, I was just saying, you know, you sit when you. Oh, fuck. It's been when he's in the hot tub. It's like it's just weird when you're sitting there with your whole family in a hot tub with a dog. He's just having a giant bath with your family. <laughs> yeah. 
Right, so these ones only have one question per card. So okay. I figured we would go to ten, maybe. First to ten? Yeah. Sure. So I don't know how... I haven't looked at any of these questions. It was fresh open, if you can... I mean, this is the cellophane I used to remove it. <laughs> um, I haven't read any of these. And I also... I don't know how it in depth these cards go <laughs> into no, the Marvel Universe. Is, we have no so, idea. We've, this, this is going yeah. blind. It dep- how many questions we get right may depend on how many we go to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I may have to. I may have gonna, to. Are we going to go? We'll do one on one. One on one. Yeah, yeah right, we'll do one on start. one. Start. Uh, you can start. Start questioning or start answering. Start questioning. Okay. Question the first. Question the first. Who is able to emit powerful particle beams from his palms? Powerful particle beams from his palms. I mean, yes. a, a lot of people. Yeah, <laughs> in the Marvel universe. Uh, for this quiz, from his arms, I don't know Iron Man. From his palms, yes, his Iron palms. Man. Yeah. See now, I because that's take, that's the omni. That's that's not. That's I his would suit. take umbrage for that because it's yeah. his suit, not yeah. his hands. That question to me suggests physically from. Him. Yeah, I was but, I was thinking of like. But the important thing is you got it right. I mean, Shocker fires yeah. from his arms. Yeah, like and loads of people, but I suppose yeah. that's electricity, not particle beams. Yeah, I but still. Anyway. All right. So my question the first: uh, Who gets physically stronger the angrier they get? The Hulk. It is indeed the Hulk. These ones seem to be very easy questions. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're all this easy. <laughs> Hopefully. It'll, just, it'll be a draw. <laughs> yeah. All right, then we'll call it a draw. <clears throat> Captain America's sidekick, Bucky Barnes, mm-hmm. later becomes better known as what? Oh, fuck. Uh, Winter Soldier. Yep. Uh, in which state was Captain America born? Oh, no, that's a bit tricky. In huh? which state was Captain America born? Oh. So, Buck Rogers. Yeah. Where was he born? Gonna keep making noises so there's no silence. While I'm thinking. While, yeah, I'll just make. I'm also terrible at states. Is Massachusetts a state? Uh, Yes, it's the state of of Massachusetts. It's got Boston and all that sort of stuff in it. No, it's the state of New York. Ah, goddamn. Goddamn bitch. Goddamn it, Wedge. I am working on that design, by the way. Goddamn it, Wedge. Goddamn it, Wedge. Goddamn it, Wedge, yes. As you should. Yes. Now it's gonna be. God damn it, Captain America. God damn it, Bucky. Uh, what is the full name of Iron Man's billionaire alter ego? Full name. Full name? Uh, I I've, probably I've drawn a blank now. Oh, God. Oh, it's... Um, Tony Stark the Junior. Or no. Tony, jo- Tony Stark the Second. No, it's Anthony Edward Stark. Uh, I've I wouldn't have got you. that. I thought I, I thought it was Anthony gonna... Stark if I really thought about it. Yeah, well, I didn't. I, I, went, got I completely blanked on his entire fucking name <laughs> yeah, to begin with. I'm like Iron, Ma- Shit, Iron Man. Uh, Iron Man's not his name. <laughs> yeah, Mister Iron Man. <laughs> um, which actress played the role of Pepper Potts in movies Iron Man one, two, and three? Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Yes. So we, we are, are level pegging. We're a right? draw. Yes. Yeah. Exciting stuff. Who provides the finance to continually fund the Avengers? Uh, to continue fund them, it would be Stark Enterprises. Yeah, Tony Stark. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it, I doubt personally. I'm sure it's part of Stark and it might be personally. Stark Industry. I think, or I think he's personally wealthy. Yeah, uh, yeah well, I imagine he is. I love uh, his answers are Iron Man. This, this, yeah. On that note, uh, who plays Iron Man in the movies of the same name? Robert Downey Jr. Oh, DJ indeed. Would you have accepted my dreamboat <laughs> as an answer? <laughs> That stud muffin. <laughs> uh, over which eye does Nick Fury wear an eye patch? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> uh, it's a 50 50. Right eye. No, it's his left fuck. eye. <laughs> God damn it, Wait, Fury. Is that stage eye or stage left or his left? <laughs> it doesn't specify. God damn it. Left. God damn it, Wedge. Uh, <laughs> how many red circles feature on Captain America's shield? Oh. No looking at your Deadpool shield. <laughs> I haven't done the circles yet, no. so I, that wouldn't help. Uh, two. Yes, two. Yeah. What was it? It'll go red, red, white, blue, red, yeah. white, blue. Yeah, yeah. Star. 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 Samuel L. Jackson plays which character in the Marvel m- movies? That'll be Nick Fury. And what eye does his eye patch go on? <laughs> uh, not his right one. <laughs> and please, use his full name, Samuel Blackson. Yes, sorry. Uh, what colour are Captain America's boots? I think this should be in which film? Yeah, <laughs> because they do like, change. Which version of him? It uh, just said, I, I just read the card. What colour are Captain America's boots? To be fair, there's a choice of three colours. It's Captain America. There's a choice of four colours. 
Three colours. They wouldn't be white. Yeah, exactly. Um, but they could be tan. They could he be does tan. wear army boots. Yeah. Um, I th- I'm sure they're red. They are red. Yeah. At least according to this question. I'm trying to think. Of according to whatever his suit works, because yeah. his gloves are red, so I think his boots are red. I'm sure he's had blue ones in some of his earlier suits to and be stuff. Fair, like yeah. According to the canon for this card, it's yes. red. Yeah. These seem very, very based on the films. Yes, they do. I Almost mean, almost entirely. Just to clarify as well, we are playing the Test Your Marvel Knowledge Marvel Avengers. I mean, it is Avengers as in the film, so I'm oh, guessing. Oh, okay. So, uh, trivia quite. game as published by Paladone, whoever they are. Thanks, Paladone. Uh, printed at Shoreham by Sea, UK print. Oh, nice. West Sussex. Good work, Shoreham. Good uh, work. Your right turn to answer, is it? Ask, isn't it? I believe. Uh, yes. yes. Yes, it is. Sorry. Uh, in which country. Was Master of Disguise Black Widow born? Uh, Russia. Yes. These are very easy. These are, aren't they? <laughs> so it's not not Marvel question. It's just how well do you know the Avengers? Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what is Captain America's shield made from? This is a specific one. This one. What? Uh, what is Captain America's shield made from? Oh God! Has it got a name? It does. It's a very silly name. <laughs> well, no, because it's a. Is is a? Oh no no sorry, it's vibranium. Mm, vibranium metal alloy. All right. It's an alloy. It contains yeah. an alloy. Technically, an I was alloy going contains. To say it was an alloy because it's vibranium and adamantium. Yes, it is. Te- yeah. yeah. If you were going to say it, that's fine, because an alloy specifically means there's more than one metal. Yeah, in yeah. It. yeah. So it's a vibranium. I alloy. couldn't remember if they had a particular name for them because I know. I found this out a little while ago. Yeah. There's different types of adamantium. Of course, they have there different is. Names. Yeah, one of them's like all in. Isn't just one type of adamantium only known inside of Wolverine? Yeah, that's I think one so. type. Of... And I think that's the purest one, or some crazy stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, anyway, getting into the science of Avengers. Uh, which two founding Avengers members did not feature in the movie Avengers Assemble? Aven- two founding. So basically, there were two founding Avengers that mm-hmm. weren't in that movie. Two founding Spider Man. And fuck, what ones don't they have licenses to? Are you going for Spider Man as one of your answers? I'm guessing it's wrong. Yeah, you're yeah. wrong. Yeah, it's Ant Man and Wasp. But, uh, okay, they yeah. were actually both. No, uh, I, again, I don't know. But that's this... that's fair. Not yeah, I, yeah. I don't blame you for not knowing no. that. Uh, considering in the in the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe, Ant Man's the most throwaway film and yes. the least regarded in reg- <laughs> in terms of yes. canon. Yeah. I didn't think. Although he then he was amazing in Civil War. Yes, he like was, just yeah. <laughs> absolutely out of the park. Yeah. I always thought Paul Rudd was a great choice for Ant Man. Yes, it it's is, just yeah. a shame they wrote a toss movie for him. Well, not, not even a toss. Just forgettable. It was Iron Man. It was Cookie Car again. It was just... Yeah, it was just Iron Man. Yeah, it was Iron, Iron Man, Man with the Iron Man small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was tiny Iron Man. Uh, this is a really easy question. What is Hawkeye's main weapon? Bow and arrows. Mm, yeah. <laughs> just to be specific. Yeah. Doesn't just hit people with the bow. <laughs> no. A bow's useless without arrows. I think yeah. you're not far off winning. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're seven. To my five? Five, yeah. yeah. So to be I'm fair, you seven. should win this one. I should. I should, yeah, like... I'll be a bit upset if I don't. No yeah. offence. But... Well, you've got a two-card lead at the moment. You have to yeah. really fuck up. Which mo- They suddenly become insanely difficult <laughs> for me. Which Marvel movie was the first to make over $1 billion? Huh? Which Marvel movie yeah. was the first to make over $1 billion? The first to make over a $1 billion? Yeah. Uh, which Marvel film? It's going to be one of the Iron Mans, I think. If I could just make a quick suggestion. Yeah. Think about the question. Yeah. Think about the game we're playing. Okay, would it be Marvel? Would it be Avengers Assemble? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhat of a leading <laughs> yeah. question there. I feel that's like. uh, that's otherwise known as Jay not wanting to win by too much. <laughs> no, I just I felt that they'd really lent. I mean, there's a lot of way. films for us to pull from, yeah. and I don't. As much as I've looked at the gross, when was this even published? Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be around whenever Marvel's Assemble, Assemble was done. Up. As Assembles comes out. Yeah, it doesn't have a published date on the box. It probably does not here, but I can't bother to read it. No, that seems um, fair. Right, so, true or false? Uh, yeah, false. Let's try again. True or false? Yep. Thanos is usually portrayed with spiky black hair. False. Mm-hmm. False. He's Thanos bald. Is, is bald. Yeah. You're on eight. Exciting. <clears throat> oh, God. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
I didn't know this one. Right, okay. In the movies, yeah. Iron Man's AI assistant, Jarvis, Jarvis yeah. is an acronym for what? Um, janitor? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hang on, there'd be A is artificial. No. No. <laughs> R, robot. No. So janitor, artificial, robot, uh, integrated system. No. Damn it. <laughs> Well, you got system right. Yay! It's just a rather very intelligent uh, system. You know, I did actually know that. <laughs> did you? I did, yeah. <laughs> like, well, I say I know that. I've heard that before. You've heard it before. Yeah. yeah. Now you say it, it I God remember. God damn it, Wedge. <laughs> as, a, uh, as a rebuttal to that question... Oh, God. What colour is Black Widow's hair? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's red. Uh, yes. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> okay, this might actually have come around. Uh, this is Avengers. This is talking about Ultron. This one, so it might oh, actually be around Age of Ultron. Came out. From which movie is the tagline "The First Avenger"? Uh, it's from uh, Captain America. Yes, it is. Boom. Uh, I think this one wins you the game. Okay. So I'm going to find you a hard question. Yeah, don't just ask me what color someone's hair is. What country is Captain America from? Uh, that one's a maybe. Okay. That one's easy. Uh, That's a silly one. Okay, I'm going to go with this one. You've got to find me three impossible to answer questions. Yeah, not not impossible, just slightly harder. Okay. What colour are Bruce Banner's eyes? What colour are Bruce Banner's eyes? I don't think it's hard, I think it's just niche. It is a bit niche. Yeah. It uh, depends on which actor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which Bruce Banner? Uh, I think they're brown. They are brown. There we go. The other one I was tossing up was yeah. which actor played the title role in 2008 movie The Incredible Hulk? Oh, um, 2008 was... Yeah, the one, they, the one they don't want you to remember. Uh, two th- 2008 was Ed Norton? It was Ed Norton. Yeah. That was the other one I was considering. Yeah. That would have stumped me a bit longer because... I would have got my order of Hulks mixed up. <laughs> Man, these are all really fucking easy questions. Have another look through. What else we got? Uh, well, I've got this one here. Thor mm. is the Norse god of what? Uh, lightning. Or thunder. But yes. Well, thunder. Storm. But thunder. Te- technically, thunder. It, lightning is is the actual thing because yeah. thunder is just sound. Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to see if you had any really difficult ones coming up. No. Yeah, I don't know that one. There's only one person that's going to have that. Well, that one's... Just because the way it's phrased, that might trip you up. Okay. Loki is the Asgardian god of madness, evil, and what else? Trickery. Mischief. Uh-huh. But I probably would have given it to you, because it's the same thing. I mean, just to consider some of the questions that you had coming up. What? Co- well, the first one I had was, what colour are Ultron's eyes? Red, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Well, technically glowing red. Oh, glowing red. Glowing red. Which sentient robot can often control other robots and machines remotely? Ultron. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the look of questioning on your face there was fantastic. Really? Yeah. Uh, Ed Norton, Brown. Yeah. True or false, Iron Man can lift up to 100 tonnes at maximum power. Iron Man? Mm-hmm. Uh, true. Yes. Who is Loki's famous brother? Thor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, there were only two what I would consider Tough question. difficult questions for you. Um, yep. um, one of them is only because I'm terrible at actresses. Who plays Wanda Maximoff, aka Scarlet Witch, in the movies? Oh, Scarlett Johansson. No, no. What? No. Wanda. Uh, Wanda Maximoff. Oh, inclu- Scarlet, oh, Scarlet Witch. Witch, sorry. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no, I don't know. No. Uh, Elizabeth Olsen. So yeah. I oh, yeah, the the, the the other Olsen triplet. Yeah, yeah I the don't other Olsen sister. Her name. Yeah. Um, and then this one, I feel, is just a touch niche. What is the nickname of Thanos? Oh, uh... oh it's... I can't. The it, uh, the destroyer. No, it's no. Mad Titan. Ah, uh, yes. So yeah. you think I know that after working with Steve? Well, yeah. Do you know what he's thinking of getting a Thanos tattoo? Is he? Yeah. If you're going to get a Thanos tattoo, don't. <laughs> yes, yes, but if no. you're really going to, 
Still don't. Get a back piece and have him <laughs> no, sat wants, on his he wants, throne. I think he wants it on his chest. No, that because you're just going to. He's going to get him sat on his throne. I think. No, you but, get that on your back. Yeah, you do. The whole thing. Yeah, full back piece. Yeah, of him sat on his throne looking regal. Yep. But, but no, no. other than that, don't get a Thanos tattoo. No. Maybe get an Infinity Gauntlet tattoo. I think he's got he's like he's, he's toying up between a couple of pictures. One of him on like there's one of him sort of chilled on the throne with his Infinity Gauntlet on, which yeah. looked quite cool. Yeah. And there's one of him looking sort of standing up, looking badass. But I think he's going mm. for that one. But yeah, you I, want. I would get a very stylized Infinity Gauntlet, like maybe on my lower leg or something. Yeah. But... So it's like if you know what it is. Yeah. Then it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, he's, Thanos doesn't lend himself to tattoos. No, Too not cool. really. Right, well, with Jay winning that quiz, that puts us at one quiz each, I guess. You, you are the better Marvel lure. Yes. And I'm the better Star Wars lure. So the next quiz and really needs to be something that neither of us know anything oh, the next, about. The next quiz, you've got a choice of two. Okay. I'll, I'll let you decide. Okay. It is either uh, Odd One Out, which would be like how this started, which is... I haven't op- Again, I haven't opened the tin, because I don't want to be sure. deemed as cheating. Yeah. Um, but the way it's portrayed is it presents a number of facts, and you have to guess which one is wrong. Okay, yeah. It's just general knowledge. Yeah. And the other one is, uh, I should have known that, which is a series of questions about things that you probably should know. Okay. I like the sound of both of those. Mm, That's why I bought them, and they were cheap. Um, Yeah. (laughs) Was that the deciding factor? Well, there is a game that I'm looking at getting called Geek Out, which is literally exactly like this. It's a mixture of science, uh, movies, comic books, uh, films, and TV. Awesome. But it's out of print. So on Amazon, it's forty-seven pounds. Ah. I'm not. I'm not paying that for a box that's full of quiz. Effect, effectively, cards. No, so all it is could, is just a box of you cards. You could just go on the internet and yeah. look up things. I mean, I could. I'm lazy. Yeah, I, I could. Yeah. Um, um, I'm going to say we do. I should have known that. I should have known that. That one is a long. Is there's more questions with that one? So we might do a few rounds, then put the other one in, and then come back sure. to it later. Yeah, on. I'm, I'm fine. But with that. we're good for the next few weeks on quizzes. Brilliant. So. Right, well, this will be the end of this episode. We are at an hour and a minute. Hour and a minute. And a minute. That's an uh, extra minute for you guys. Yeah, well, Enjoy. I mean, it's or 60 minutes less from our normal runtime on most of them. Yeah, well, that's also true. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I've been Niff, he's been Jay. Jay, been. Jay does things on, on the WordPress. I do, on uh, bandtothebone.wordpress.com. That I one. have a very exciting blog about the misery of being in a starting up band. Um, <laughs> go and read it, it's yeah. great. And uh, yeah, and then I do things on the YouTubes where I pretend to record, record gameplay that people, I think, won't care about, uh, and try and make <laughs> jokes that people don't find funny. Um, yeah, self-deprecating humour. Yay! Yay. Um, um, I don't know how we either of us ever made it through interviews. We're yeah, I know. I'm, I, have, I have people pestering me for jobs yeah. now. <laughs> Apparently, I'm employable. I have no idea why. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've been Niffy. has been Jay, and this has been the Non-Refundable Podcast number. Six. Something. Bye. Bye. God damn it, Wedge.